Submersible vehicles, designed to explore the depths of the ocean, have played a vital role in scientific research, underwater exploration, and military operations. Despite the advancements in technology and safety protocols, submersible vehicles have not been immune to incidents and accidents throughout history. In this exploration of submersible vehicle incidents, we will delve into some notable occurrences from 1960s until today. In case we miss out any, kindly comment in the comment section below. And in this list, we will not include submarines. So without further ado, let's get started. The Alvin DSV-2 Incident on 16th October 1968 Alvin DSV-2 is a crude deep ocean research submersible owned by the United States Navy. The incident took place while Alvin was being transported aboard the Navy tender ship Lulu. During the lowering process, two steel cables supporting Elvin snapped, causing it to fall into the water. At the time of the incident, the hatch of Elvin was open and three crew members were on board. Since Elvin was situated between the pontoons of Lulu without a deck underneath, it began to sink rapidly. Despite the challenging situation, the three crew members were able to escape. However, Elvin flooded and sank in the Atlantic Ocean at a depth of approximately 1,500 meters, 4,900 feet. The incident occurred about 88 nautical miles or 163 kilometers south of Nantucket Island. Johnson's Sea Link Accident on 17 June 1973 A tragic accident occurred involving the Johnson Sea Link submersible, resulting in the loss of two divers' lives. The incident took place during a seemingly ordinary dive near Key West. The Johnson Sea Link became trapped in the wreckage of the USS Fred T. Berry, a destroyer intentionally sunk to create an artificial reef. The submersible remained trapped in the wreckage for more than 24 hours. Eventually, the rescue vessel AB Wood 2 was able to recover the submersible. However, unfortunately, two out of the four occupants on board the Johnson Sea Link succumbed to carbon dioxide poisoning. Submersible Pisces 3 Incident on 29th August 1973 The Submersible Pisces 3, operated by Roger Chapman and Roger Mallinson, encountered an incident during a routine mission to lay sea cable. While being raised to the surface by its mothership, the Vickers Voyager, the rear compartment hatch of Pisces 3 was accidentally opened causing the entire compartment to flood. As a result, the submersible rapidly sank to the bottom, resting 1,575 feet underwater in the Celtic Sea, approximately 150 miles or 240 kilometers off the coast of Ireland. The crew had an estimated 72 hours of oxygen remaining on board. Miraculously, after 76 hours, both Roger Mallinson and Roger Chapman were successfully rescued. This incident marked the deepest successful submarine rescue in history. The AS-28 Incident on 5th August 2005 The Russian Deep Submergence Rescue Vehicle AS-28, part of the Priz class, encountered an incident off the coast of Kamchatka Peninsula. While operating at a depth of 190 meters, 620 feet, the submersible became entangled in a fishing net or underwater antenna assembly cables. Efforts to free itself were unsuccessful and the submarine found itself trapped with a diminishing air supply. A collaborative international effort ensued, involving a Royal Navy team utilizing a Scorpio remotely operated vehicle ROV. The ROV successfully freed the submarine from the entanglement, allowing it to resurface. Fortunately, all seven crew members aboard the AS-28 were rescued safely. Deep Flight Super Falcon Incident in 2009 The Deep Sea Flight Super Falcon, a personal submarine designed by Graham Hawks, a formal civilian ocean engineer, encountered some challenges during its first test flight. The Super Falcon was designed with the aim of enabling travel to the deepest areas of the ocean, utilizing innovative technology. However, during the test, the submersible became entangled in a kelp bed, necessitating the assistance of a safety diver to cut it free. Additional issues arose such as broken prop and rudder during vertical dives and 90-degree rolls. 
These initial problems highlighted the need for further adjustments and improvements to ensure the submersible's performance and safety. Fortunately, no one lost a life here. Titan Submersible Incident on 18 June 2023 A submersible incident occurred involving the Titan, a privately operated submersible belonging to the Ocean Gate. The submersible went missing while in international waters in the North Atlantic Ocean near the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. The Titan was conducting a tourist expedition to explore the wrecked site of the Titanic, carrying five individuals on board. Unfortunately, communication was lost with the submersible approximately one hour and 45 minutes into the dive. Concerns arose when the submersible failed to resurface at its scheduled time later that day prompting authorities to be notified. On June 22, a debris field was discovered by a remotely operated underwater vehicle located approximately 488 meters 1, feet away from the bow of the Titanic. The debris field contained parts of the Titan, leading to the presumption that the pressure chamber of the submersible had imploded during or after its descent resulting in the instantaneous loss of all individuals on board. This tragic incident serves as a reminder of the risk associated with deep-sea exploration and highlights the importance of safety measures in submersible operations. And with this, we're signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.